All right, hey, every now and then we choose a popular question and we do a video on it. One of the most popular things that we get asked is which insurance license should I get to start my insurance career? All right, so you're wanting to have a career in the insurance business where you are making some money, all right? I want to, I want to, I want to throw a few stats at you. Number one, 92% of insurance agents fell in the first three years. There are more millionaires than any other in this industry, in their industry in the world. It's also can be extremely lucrative financially. So what are some of the benefits, before I tell you which license to get, what are some of the benefits of actually joining the insurance business? Okay, I would say um, the most common answer would be flexibility, you know? I think that's good, right? Even though mo the successful insurance agents actually work more than the 92% that fell, okay? So it's a benefit, but it, but is it really true, right? You can be your own boss. I think that's great, right? I don't. I personally don't wanna work for corporate America. I don't know if you do or not, but I personally don't want to, okay? So flexibility, be your own boss. Um, I would say that there's an unlimited income potential, right? Most people don't know that I made $117,361 and 13 cents, don't forget about the pennies. In my first eight months as a brand new insurance agent at 20 years old in college playing basketball. Okay, so I understood all this. Also, you can create a residual renewal income stream that can stay with you for long times to come, forever, right? And I, I, know, I know a lot of agents that are making 10 grand a month, 50 grand a month. I know interest agents make it 100 grand a month, right? It's possible in this career. So which insurance license? Because you could say, well, I want to go the, you could say, I want to go the life insurance route, or I want to go the health insurance route, or I want to go the P and C insurance route, property and casualty, selling home and auto, selling commercial. I think it really varies by the individual. Personally, I got started out selling life insurance as a 20 year old agent and I didn't try to sell anything else. And when I did that, I forced myself because I do believe that life insurance is the toughest, even though I prefer it, it's the toughest way to succeed in the insurance business. It's not easy. It is the toughest way to succeed. It's the, it's the toughest product to sell. Think about life insurance. Life insurance is the only product in the world that you can, that a prospect can own, but never actually use. Think about that for a second. I don't have another product in the world where some, the, the owner owns it, but they never actually get a chance to use it. Their family gets a chance to reap the rewards and use it, but you're selling something that they're never gonna get a chance to use, right? I understand you can add living benefits and all that, I get it. But however, the essence of life insurance, the death benefit, they don't get to use it, okay? So that's life insurance. Life insurance is, it's difficult. Um, it's tough to get in front of people. And when you're trying to establish yourself as an insurance an insurance career, getting in front of people week after week after week, whether it's face to face or over the phone, is extremely important and valuable because activity is what holds most insurance agents back from being successful. So let's talk health insurance for a second, right? You could say, well, I wanna do regular health or I wanna do Medicare, right? So I'm building a residual income business. So life insurance, you can make money fast, okay? You can get, uh, like I made 100 grand at 20 years old in eight months, you can too. Medicare, can you make 100 grand in your first eight months ever? I'm not saying you can't, but it's much harder, right? Because you get paid a lower amount of money, but you get paid that over the course of several years and sometimes for as long as the client will stay with you, okay? So there's some, if, you, if, you have, if you're like, dude, I, I, I'm, leaving my, I'm leaving my corporate job and I have to make $180,000 this year. Well, you're gonna, need to, you're gonna need to sell life insurance, right? But if you're like, well, I have three years to get to a six-figure renewal income, then maybe a combination of life and Medicare makes sense, right? I know a ton of individuals that have built six-figure renewal incomes by selling Medicare, you know? I'm personally always been a life guy. I just, I like, you know, I like life and, and, and living and, some people prefer Medicare, okay? So, P 
PNC, property and casual, that's where you're selling home, auto, commercial, and all the other stuff that comes with all these things. Okay, now, is this the easiest thing to sell? Yes. Is there, is it a slower road in that you can make a ton of money years from now? Yes, do you normally have to start off in an office where you're actually working for the man or the woman and you gotta prove yourself before you can have your own branch or your own office or whatever? Typically, yes, okay? Now, can you make a lot of money long-term? Yes. Personally, right, I know a lot of really successful people in this space. I'm buddies with some successful people in this space. I'm buddies with the biggest influencers in the PNC space, right, my soup guys. However, it's personally not my cup of tea. So if you were to ask me, okay, Cody, which insurance license should I get to start my insurance career? That's a that's the title of the video. That's why I clicked on the video. Give me an give me a direct answer. Well, I would say you need to start with your life and health license, and you can, I would get both at the exact same time. I got mine both at the exact same time, even though I didn't sell a health insurance product for, for or a Medicare product for about a year when I got my license, like it wasn't, I wasn't intending on selling Medicare at all. But if you're like, Hey, I realize I want to get into the business and have a career and make some money, then I would start out with life and health license because you can make, you can have tons of flexibility. You can be your own boss and, and, and incredible income potential, truly, truly unlimited, right? You can create a re residual income stream. And if you're ever looking for like, companies for me to like point you to I'm hey I'm getting my license I want to, I want help dude free feel, feel free to uh, email me you know I, I've I have uh, relationships with a lot of the top places around the country and I'm cool um, and whether you're English or Spanish or in Hawaii you know whatever you want phone cells or face to face you know doesn't matter um, Cody at CodyAskins.com would take a long time to write that out Cody at CodyAskins.com and I will be happy to um, answer questions in relation to pointing you in the right direction if I can. You know, like my, the reason we do all these videos is my goal is to help insurance agents succeed. And it, it's not, an, it, it's it's 92% actually do fail. Like we started a conference called 8% Nation because only 8% succeed. I've spent about... Um, I would say about $1.2 million on that event so far. I would say collectively between the amount of agents that are going to attend Vegas and the previous event in Dallas and the previous event in uh, Nashville over the first three years, probably had about um, two to 3,000 agents actually attend this event. Okay, and those are conservative numbers. But what we do with that is we're bringing people in and this is this ties back into this topic because you need to get around people that can level you up and events. I mean, the best way, like once you actually get your insurance license, you're like, dude, I want to start like, you know, I want to start making some money. I want to be successful. I don't want to struggle, you know, and I want some immediate tips. Well, you, you need to find a good place. You need to plug in to good content. You need to attend events so that you can learn personal development, self-improvement, you have to spend some money in yourself. Like no successful person ever got great without investing in themselves, okay? And then you've got to realize that this is an activity game. You know, the more people you talk to, the more people you get a chance to close and sell. And in this business, the way, I, the reason I had so much success early on is I focused on, on, on literally seeing the people. My secret to success at an early age, 117 grand, was simply this. I committed, I committed to sit seeing 10 people per week. So every single week, this was my system. I'm gonna set 15 appointments, I'm gonna sit with 10, and I'm gonna sell five. And the weeks that I did that, I made a couple grand and had a lot of success. If you wanna have a successful insurance career, personally, I would recommend a life and health license. 
And I would also recommend that you have some type of weekly system that you can, you can duplicate over and over again so that you too can be successful. You can be a part of the 8%, not part of the, not part of the 92%. You can have flexibility, be your own boss, tons of income potential, residual income stream, unlimited income. And if you ever need help, obviously you can email me, Cody at CodyAskins.com. Which insurance license should you start your career with? Personally, I would recommend a life and health. You ask other people, they may give you a different opinion. However, this is my YouTube channel and this is my opinion. If you watch this video and you wanna learn how to take a live call and transfer it from an opener to a closer, that video is for you. Click on it and I'll see you there. Again, I'm not sure what time you're watching this video, right? Intro, expert, control, qualify, transfer. This is how to effectively transfer a live call from an opener to a closer.